celebrate the God of liberation who is capable of doing mighty things we want to recount the testimony of our brethren from Ghana that case was a case of the dead walking among the living according to his testimony all the organs in his body were dead and then he reduced to a skeleton but by divine intervention he had an encounter 
with the apostle over this commission. And then, by prophetic intervention, the God of liberation came through. His bones that were sticking out suddenly became flesh. The organs that were dead suddenly came back to life. Because the God of liberation can fix everything. And then, the terminal disease that was supposed to terminate him, the God of liberation terminated that, that disease. And he became a living testimony of the mandate approve that the God of liberation is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or think. Celebrate him. Liberation has done it again. There is this young man from Aochi Polytechnic who died, and the message was passed across to the elder sister in Portacot. She was one of the cell ministers there, and she rushed out and reached out to the location provider and she told him all that has happened. And the man said, No, it cannot happen. And then they began to engage one of the foremost mysteries of the liberation mandate, the kingdom advancement prayer. They began to pray and prayed for two hours, seeking the interest of the kingdom. And the next morning, they hooked up to Canaan land for the covenant hour of prayer. And after that intervention, the sister sent a message to one of the brothers in Calabar, University of Calabar. Go down to Auchi and see what's happening. And when he got there to the mortuary, to the hospital, they told him it was late. Your brother has been embalmed 24 hours ago. And he said, let me see him. And they brought him out. And he stooped and whispered to his ears. Jesus Christ is here. Rise up. There was no sign. And again he stooped. Jesus Christ is here. That David was out. For seven years but now a fruitful mother of children we got married in the year 2010 and for a good seven years we waited on the Lord for the fruits of the womb after hearing our father in the Lord saying that we should keep filling our cloud until our rain fall we intensify our kingdom engagement both in prayer and in soul winning and after seven years the God of liberation showed himself faithful. He gave us a son through God's genera in the year 2017. And in the year 2019, he showed up again and gave us another boy, God's genera, Joseph. Indeed, we are a living testimony of the liberation mandate. And we have come to return all the glory back to the God of liberation, who is faithful and able to do all things in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.